All right, this video is about how to, finding trig angles in radians. What we've done before is in degrees. So today we're talking about radians. Now that we know what a radian is, we're going to calculate radians, the coterminal angles, complementary angles, and supplementary angles. All right, so remember some things. We talked about the unit circle. We talked about um, these angles and degrees, 0, 90, 180, 270, 360. Now that we've talked about radians, we've talked about um, where the radians line up. And we said that 180 is where pi is, right? And so if 90 is half of 180, this location is half of pi. So we would say pi over 2, right? So down here at, three, at 270, we have half a pi, a pi, and if we keep rotating around counterclockwise, we have pi and a half. So it's one and a half pi's, or three pi over two. And then if we keep rotating around the circle, we get to 360 degrees, which we also said is two pi. Now, radians can be given in pi form, like this, or they can be given in decimal form. Well, let's think about this. The most obvious decimal we know is pi. We know that pi is 3.14, right? So if we back it up and fill in the gaps, half of 3.14, if you put that in your calculator, is 1.57. All right, and then if I go to 3 pi over 2, if you put that in your calculator and you found the decimal, you would get 4.71. And then 2 pi is 6.28. All right, the reason I bring that up is some of the problems will be given to you in pi radian form, some will be given to you in decimal radian form. The way they give you is the way you work it. So you just need to know those conversion factors. Okay, so write this down, keep it handy, and memorize it. Now we also talked about coterminal angles the other day. Remember, coterminal angles are really the same angle, different names for the same angle. So if this one's going in the positive direction, it's called 190, 120 degrees. But if I go in the negative direction, it's called negative 240. But it really looks exactly the same. Okay? So if you recall what coterminals are, we added or subtracted a full revolution to get the different names, right? So coterminal, let's do this with radians, okay? If I want to find two coterminal angles for each of these, I'm going to add a full rotation, which is a full revolution, which is 2 pi, and I'm going to subtract a full revolution, which is 2 pi. All right, this is where fractions come into play. So pi over 3 plus 2 pi over 1. Well, you have to get a common denominator. In this case, the denominator is the 3. So I have to multiply the top and the bottom by 3. So I get pi over 3 plus 2 times 3 is 6 pi over 3. So my answer is 7 pi over 3. All right, there is one coterminal angle to pi over 3. Then the, then the rule says I subtract a full revolution. All right, so pi over 3 minus 2 pi. Same process. I need the common denominator of 3, so I'm going to multiply the second one by 3 over 3. So pi minus 6 pi. And that gives me negative 5 pi over 3. Alright, look at example 2. Negative 3 pi over 4. Okay, the negative is always going to go on the top of your fraction as we do this, by the way. Okay, if I add a full revolution, 2 pi. It means I get like a common denominator of 4, right? So negative 3 pi over 4 plus 8 pi over 4 gives me 5 pi over 4. So there's one name of a coterminal angle. Then I'm going to subtract 2 pi. Okay, again, I have to have a common denominator. So I have negative 3 pi over 4 minus 8 pi over 4 equals negative 11 pi over 4. All right, so I have my two coterminal angles. Number three, same song, third verse, okay? Negative 15 pi over 6. If I add 2 pi, common denominator has to be 6, right? So let's do this. Negative 15 pi plus 2 times 6 is 12 pi over 6. Now, notice I'm doing this a little bit different. I did the second one in two fractions, and this one I did it in one. 
it doesn't matter really. Okay. When I combine like terms, I'm going to get negative three pi over six. Now this one, this fraction will reduce, so I'm going to reduce it negative pi over two. All right, that's one coterminal. Let's do the second one. Negative 15 pi over 6 minus 2 pi. Gives me negative 15 pi minus 12 pi over 6. All that over 6. So now I have negative 27 pi over 6. So it's kind of ugly. But it works. It's okay. All right. That is, those are my two coterminal angles. So you can see the fractions are coming into play already. Now, complementary and supplementary angles with, with radians. Okay. If you remember in degrees, when we found complements, we did 90 minus theta, whatever the angle was. So when we do radians, we do pi over 2, because remember, pi over 2 and 90 are in the same location. Okay. Pi over 2 minus theta, or if they give us radians and decimals, we do 1.57 minus theta. Similarly, with supplementary angles, it was 180 minus theta in degrees. So in radians, we do pi minus theta, or if it's in decimal form, 3.14 minus theta. So we'll do this, okay? Um, at pi over 4, okay, if I want to find the complement, all right, it's in pi form, so I'm going to do pi over 2 minus pi over 4. Common denominator is needed, so I'm going to multiply this first one by 2 over 2 to get a common denominator of 4. So I get 2 pi over 4 minus pi over 4, and it gives me pi over 4, and that is my complement. My supplement is going to be pi minus pi over 4. All right, remember pi over 1 so a common denominator is needed of 4. So I have 4 pi over 4 minus pi over 4. That means my supplement would be 4 minus 1, which is 3 pi over 4. Number 5. 5 pi over 8. Okay, so if I find the complement first, I'm going to do pi over 2 minus 5 pi over 8. Okay. Common denominator is needed, so I'm going to multiply top and bottom by 4. And I get 4 pi over 8 minus 5 pi over 8. Well, that gives me a negative pi over 8. And we said before, you can't have negatives, so there is no complement. Okay, if you're working through it, there is no complement. What about supplement? Well, pi minus 5 pi over 8. If I get a common denominator of 8, I get 8 pi over 8 minus 5 pi over 8, which gives me 3 pi over 8. So this is my supplement, and we said there's no complement on number 5 here. Number 6, this is an example of a radian given in degrees, okay? So to find my complement, I would do 1.57 minus 2.9. Well, that's going to be a negative number, which means it does not exist. Okay, can't have a negative answer, so it does not exist. So for my supplement, I would take 3.14, that's pi, subtract 2.9, and I get 2.24 radians. Okay, so that is my supplement. All right, so that's how it works in decimal form. It's really not that hard. You just have to know your landmarks. You've got to know that pi over 2 is 1.57 and that pi is 3.14. All right, good luck and we'll see you in class.